Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. This is the HD version for those of you incapable of reading the title I have so laboriously, is that a word? Typed out. I don't know what I'm on about, but whatever, welcome back. We're going to do some stuff, enjoy some cutscenes, etc, etc. All hail, Maester Seymour. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings, they're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran. It is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. Sir Aaron must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me. Maester Seymour, why is your lordship... Presently, present here, sir. Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -hmm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me. I always like that part. Pretend you didn't see him, pretend I didn't say it. I like that. Little bit of touches. Little bit of touches of character of things. Now, make sure, just like a lot of other places early in the game that you're traveling through, make sure you talk to all of the people that are around the area. They will often have items for you. Often very good items. There's a dude up here that gives like 10 potions or something, and a waka, which we're just going to ignore at, the point, at this point. Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Hi. Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Sadly, we can't go that way yet. We can go that way later. And we will. Also, welcome to the new enemies. This one's annoying. It's also really fast. Thankfully, the other enemies are My fairly slow. There's some mushrooms. Oh god, I hate that thing of passion. There's some mushrooms in this area. Uh, they're very annoying. Very bad. He's thunder, I think. Yeah. They can cause, uh, sleep to your full party, which is really bad, and then they start casting fire Ra. I really hate this thing. I'm sure you've noticed by now, but I do. I should have actually swapped someone out for Aura to get the experience from it. 
because that'll happen. He'll overkill it if he manages to hit the stupid thing. It takes some ages to hit the stupid thing, though. What was I saying? I don't remember. Something about something about stuff. About random encounters. Oh yeah, they put you to sleep and then they cast level 2 fire. This is a terrible fight. Um... Hmm. Hmm. This should be quick. It's gonna be a lot of ability spheres and AP, but this might hurt a lot. In fact, they may just kill everyone. Let's go ahead and power break this one because it's about to attack. You will hurt no one. He'll hurt someone, just not as much. It's on R in anyway, so it's kind of null and void. We're gonna go ahead and blind this one. We're gonna end up blinding both of them, if possible. Ow. Titus might die, depending on who this one attacks. Probably gonna attack Titus. Yep, Titus is dead. God dang it, Titus. Let's swap out... Um, I'm actually going to swap in Lulu. This might seem bizarre right now, but I want to get this guy down. I believe he was weak to Blizzard. Um, he's resistant to magic, probably. So I probably shouldn't have done that, but hey. Should have just done that. That would have been the smart thing to do. Please don't gore people. It's very rude. Um, Waka! Revive our friend for me, will you? Actually, no, Lulu. You've already taken it. Or, sorry, not Lulu. Yuna. You've already taken a turn. She has it. Return to us. Indeed. Stop being dead. He's probably gonna immediately die again because of this one. That one's blind. This one's power broke. As long as it doesn't gore him, we're fine. Can gore Yuna. That's alright. Waka! Do something for me, please. And then we'll swap Yuna out for Kamadi. Blind that one again. Because so hopefully we're just gonna kill this one. Yeah, we should. Um, Kamadi, I don't think you can learn anything from this, but Lancet that one for me. Hey, we can! We can learn Fire Breath. I should be doing that more often, because there are a lot of skills, and I think a few of them are missable. But, whatever. Is there anyone who hasn't acted? No. The fight's done now that we've actually got uh, the other one down. This guy's blind, so... And Aran's gonna get the kill again. Well done, Aran. All of the kills. Should be getting some good experience in that fight, hopefully. Eh. It wasn't as good as I was hoping for, but whatever. It's fine. We'll survive. And let's go ahead and check the uh, sphere grids real quick. There's Kamari, chilling in the middle. Here's Auron. You can see he's made a small venture over yonder. Primarily to get haste. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with Humphrey. Oh yeah, I was contemplating going down here because there's uh, steel and use, and then there's like another thing here that does something. Goes over here and luck and spare change for whatever reason. But uh, I decided against that and I would keep going down his train. I've also missed provoke because I have no need for that on Titus. So he's going to keep going this way and work towards something over here. I think it's down this way. Yeah, there it is. Sloga! And then Haystega's somewhere over here. Is this it? There it is. There's there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on on this board. Just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. A lot of stuff going on. What is this ability? Guard. Eh. Might use it. Or I might use... How many ability spheres do I have? Six. We'll wait on that. 
Um, I think I was taking Yuna down there to learn Fyra, of all things. Or, well, at least level two, um, level two black magic, so we can have two black mages fairly early in the game. I took her on a side path, so she doesn't need very much more to learn Fyra, which is the spell I would like her to have for this upcoming fight. And I'm actually going to drop a um, magic sphere, because we've got one. I'm drop a magic sphere right here, so Yuna and Lulu are going to grab that. I might drop an MP sphere there. Let's we'll see about it. I'm not entirely sure. You need delay attack. It doesn't need it, but you know. And that is what magic don't care. We're eventually gonna have these. No, wait, I wanted to say yes. We're eventually gonna have everyone have a full board. So everyone can basically do everything, but. For the time being, I will, you know, grab what I deem fit as I make my way around. What is this? Sleep attack. I want that, so please give it to me. Give it to me, Waka. Give it to me harder. Faster. Stronger. What is this? Threaten. Must be where Auron would go. And Auron can very quickly and easily get to Sloga. Interesting. That's, 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 that's actually really quite interesting. It's a luck sphere that we'll use eventually. Just a level one key to get him straight to Sloga from his uh, his normal path here. She takes him all the way over here, and then down this way, and then he merges with Titus, I believe, or someone over here. That's in trust. That's his own line. He merges with his own line. What's going on here? Where are you going, Arn? Sentinel, Osmos, so that's Waka over here. This is a complicated board. Not use. I think that's it except Kamari. Yeah. Who's basically just chilling for the time being. It's a lot going on on that uh, sphere grid. There's a lot of paths to take, there's a lot of merges between lines and stuff like that, as opposed to the standard sphere grid and my internet's out. It's been out, I think, collectively more than 24 hours this week, and it's Thursday morning. So, welcome to Bright House. Their, art, their uh, company is complete and utter garbage. Literally... I think they're probably up there on the worst ISPs in America list. The problem is they're much smaller than Time Warner Cable, so no one says anything. Although I will say they're basically a subsidiary of Time Warner Cable, so... Got that going for them. Everyone always complains about Time Warner and Comcast, but I'm over here with Bright House that no one's even heard of. Spoiler, it's garbage. So he's water. I don't think we have anything that's water. Might as well try, see if we can kill it. We can, just barely. Um, Lulu. Allow me. I will. Blizzard, that thing. Thank you. Um, Lulu, you didn't kill the enemy. Why? You're supposed to one-shot elementals. It's your freaking job. That's going to be problematic. That's going to be a few levels before she's actually to the level 2 magic, so... Oh well. Over here is 10 Potion Man. You might also notice on the minimap there's an area down there with a save point. We can't get to that yet. We will be there later for an entirely different side quest style thingy. Please kill it. Please. Liz. Hey, so she's got a bit of a variable in there, and whether she'll kill it or not. It'll take a while for her to level, too. Uh, we'll be there for something else later, but this guy will give you a bunch of potions. Hooray. Pretty handy, actually. Although, I would, I've really never tried... I never try to use potions in battle. Takes a turn, doesn't heal very much. There's the freaking you fungus. The fungus! 
<laughs> no, not the fungus. I'm actually gonna kill the fungus first. Interestingly, it casts fire, but it's weak to fire. Because it'll put my whole party to sleep, and then we'll just be here for ages with two elemental dudes hitting us in the face, so... Not in our best interest. I sort of should have swapped people out for experience there. I'm getting lazy about doing that, Blarg. To be fair, it's not like we're Rod of Lightning. To be fair, it's not like we're crazy under leveled or anything We've like been that. Expecting you. I forgot she doesn't give you anything. Remedy. This is a long path, by the way. A long, winding area with a lot of treasure in it. Go away, damn it! <laughs> Go away, damn it! I'm actually gonna swap you for Humphrey. Because of the attack pattern we've got here. Nice. And then you can bring Waka back in. Nothing to it. I'm presuming she kills it. She didn't. She has 2 HP. We took damage for 2 HP. Swear to god. Alright! If we could just get a little bit more damage on Lulu, that would be fantastic. But nope. It's gonna be a while. We're also gonna- it's gonna be a while before we have Kira, because I'm taking uh, Yuna down a side path the here. End, I wasn't able to stop them. As you can see. But seeing their fierce determination, I couldn't just sit there. So I decided that I would do everything in my power to help them. Well, good job, I guess. Congratulations and things. Ambush, oh dear. Oh, I missed, so that made the ambush a little bit less annoying. That didn't. Right. Oh yeah. And you again. You and your consistent not killing of enemies that you're supposed to kill, Lulu. There we go. Seems like 450 is like her exact middle point on damage, and she just fluctuates between that or around that. Sorry. Let's go ahead and heal as well. It's close enough. Right! We're almost to the halfway point, guys. Aren't you excited? There's a treasure here I would like to grab. If I could stop clipping onto the wall, that would be great. Now, if we could just get this fight constantly, that would be great. Because it's not actually that bad of a fight. We're actually going to delay attack it, by the way. Sorry, maybe next time. The reason I did that is so I could get a dark attack on it before it did anything didn't actually much care about anything else. What are you weak to, if anything? Nothing, so... Uh, hit it. I don't want to waste any mana, and I just want her to take an action that does something, so... Waka swap to Yuna. We'll bring Kamari in to do basically nothing. May as well hit it, I guess. Shouldn't have guarded the Yuna, to be honest. Good job! Uh, Lulu's acted R and has not... I don't know how much HP it has left. A lot. This thing has quite a lot of HP, to be honest. Um, Waka. We'll probably swap uh, Kamari out for Humphrey. Oh wow, it actually hit R and despite being blind when he did that. Most interesting! Find him again for me. The reason I'd rather have a bunch of these fights is because they give uh, good spheres and they give good experience. It's unlikely we'll overkill it, but whatever. Also, if you keep it blind, especially if you have a weapon that has dark attack, which I'm not sure if you can at this point, uh, it's a super easy fight. You should rarely, if ever, take damage. Aran's gonna get the kill again. Aran, oh, oh no he's not. Because Titus is too fast. It's not actually a terrible idea to move Auron through Titus's line a little bit. 
that will uh, give him quite a bit of speed. Oh, come on. Stop clipping on the wall. Obviously, that extra speed will allow him to hit more often, etc., etc. He'll have a little bit less HP and health as you move through the game, because he's a bit behind in his own tree, but... He's ambushes, man. Ow. Ow, at least he didn't use pollen. Yep, that's what I was expecting to happen. If you're curious, if you're turned to stone and something hits you, you shatter. So... Kind of annoying. It's a thing. It happens. It'll happen fairly often, too. And then you can't get that third party sweet to fire, that third party me member back. Once you've been ejected or shattered or something like that, you cannot be retrieved. Which is annoying, to say the least. Thank you for not using pollen. Get lucky on this funguar. Fungar. Fungus. Fungdoodle. I don't know what I'm on about. I've lost my mind, and we're not even halfway through the game yet. We're not even close to halfway through. Alright, so Auron's back at 1 HP, because he's technically dead, but... Let's do another heal. She's got the MP for it, so... Do you give me anything? That's not what I meant to do, but I guess we're going up, so... I'll do it. I don't feel like going back down and going through the loading screen again. The loading screens aren't too bad. Excuse me. They're not too bad. They're not, um, you know, emulator plus SSD level, obviously, but they're manageable. I'm sure when I'm grinding it'll be a little bit more annoying, especially since I can't fast-forward the game, but... Crusaders. Whatever. Why would they weep? I don't understand that at all. Waka! Guess what fight it is again. When I said I would rather fight these, I didn't mean constantly. I meant every once in a while. I didn't realize how much MP Lulu actually had, that's quite a lot. Uh, Oren! I love when he crits, it's great. He does so much damage, and he'll always be the one hitting for crazy amounts. In comparison to everyone else, at least until we finish everyone's line and start swapping them to other people's. Titus will go to... probably Oren's. You could send Nurwaka, but... Uh, he doesn't need any more accuracy than he already has at that point, really. At least until you start hitting Dark Aeons, and then you need lots and lots and lots of accuracy. Um... Yeah, we'll blow five more MP. Just to keep him from hitting us. There's another attack, I think it's Dark Buster, that has a 100% chance of actually occurring. This one doesn't, despite what it seems. And it lasts for five turns, so... Enemies that are not weak to dark don't have a 100% chance of being inflicted with dark from dark attack. But then the ones you would use dark attack on are weak to dark, so it's really not a problem until That's later. How it's done. Indeed, it is. He's got two... What did she need, like four or five or something? May as well explore all the side areas while we're here. For treasure, like this. That serene armlet, which I think protects from Berserk. Which nothing inflicts for a while, but hey! It's a thing, sir. 400 gil. We're already, we spent 10k, we're already almost back to 5k, which is insane, to be fair. Now there's another Albed Primer, somewhere. Somewhere in this area, I have it written down, it's in an area called Precipice. I don't actually know where Precipice is. Apparently that's all we're going to fight in this area, by the way. Um, so I don't know where this Albed Primer is. We'll probably have to come back later and get it. It's Albed Primer Volume 10. 
And I don't know where it is, other than it's in the area called Precipice, so... Whatever. I should I meant to actually... Wait a minute, it's back already. I meant to look it up, um, previously. I need to be swapping people out. Before I started this area, but... I kind of forgot, and then I didn't, and then Sonic Boom happened, and then I lost my eardrums and stuff. Look how even Yuna can hit this thing. That's when you know you've got a whole lot of nothing going for you. We're not going to blind it again. How much has got? 1350. I don't know why I pick the spells I do. Sometimes I just gravitate towards certain spells when I'm casting. Humphrey! Come hit it. I was hoping he wouldn't have another turn quite so quickly, but apparently he has, so he's going to get a couple attacks. And of course it's Sonic Boom. Of course it is! Why would it not be? There we go. I'm probably going to end up sending Kamari down um, Orange route. I'm going to grab haste with him as well, so he'll have haste, lots of haste going on. Um, I'll probably send him down orange route just to give him that additional strength, because that's basically the build he is anyway. So, he's basically a mini Auron. Actually, he's a little bit bigger. Oh, there it is. Okay. I found it, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> All of that talk about how I didn't know where it is, and then I walked straight to it. I swear I didn't know where it is. It was accidental. I'm actually going to use that. It's going to heal one of them, but the other one is weak to fire, so maybe we can kill it in one go. Yep. Nice. And bring Lulu in. Good job, Kamari. Probably should have saved that for the upcoming boss fights. Notice the S on that, but it's not really a hard fight, so... Especially if we can get Fyra before the fight. It becomes quite a bit easier. We've already talked to him, so up is where we need to go. Let's check our sphere grid. We are not quite there, are we? Oh wait, we are. What is this real quick? Agility. We'll probably end up moving Lulu back to grab that. So let's go ahead and drop a magic sphere here. Magic plus four. Pretty handy. When you put down the spheres like that, they're always max uh, level. So it'll always be magic plus 4, HP plus uh, 300 or something like that. I don't remember what the max is for HP. I think this is fire anyway. It is, okay. So we've got the ability we want for Lulu. We don't have anything else for Lulu, but we've got the ability we want. I'm tempted to give him a strength sphere. I'm tempted to give him multiple spheres to be honest, but... Two level ones, I could take them down here to do what? Nothing, because Aran's basically not moved. That's Waka. I don't know what to do with you, Aran. I guess we'll just keep going this way. Do I want guard? Not really. I never use it, so we'll just pass on by. People are going to be yelling at me for actually passing abilities that I'm just going to have to go back later and probably get. Um, deal with it? What is this? Oh, that's slow. That's bribe. Okay. Um, you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So both of them got that. Yuna's not going to get fire around. That's not the end of the world. Much like missing some abilities, purposefully, is not the end of the world. I don't think I'm even going to use Walker really in this fight. Kamari, again, not really going to use him. So that's everyone. We'll have a chance to save and check uh, Owaka's shop one last time and some other stuff before we get up there, but we'll probably get into a random encounter in this place. 
you. Sir, I wish to start your little optional cutscene here. Why only you, sir? I want to fight too. Orders are orders. I'm not a cadet anymore, sir. Let me go with you and I'll prove it to them. Guarding the command center is important too, you know. But I came all the way from Besaid to fight Sin, sir. I know, but an order's an order to your post-crusader. But, sir! They let you through, huh? Hmm. Gata deserves better. At least there's no chance he'll get hurt. Why are you guys fighting anyway? Aren't the almighty outbed machina enough? They still need some time to get them ready. Our job is to keep Sin at bay till they're done. <clears throat> Waka, I might not get another chance to say this. It's about your brother. Luzu, no! What? I'm the one who convinced him to enlist. Mm. <sighs> I'm sorry. Waka! That's enough, Waka! When we used to play Blitz together, Chapu used to say... He said that when we won the cup, yeah. He proposed to Lulu. And then one day, he goes off and becomes a crusader, just like that. <sighs> Chapu also said to me that being with your girl is good. But keeping Sin far away from her is better. Lou, you knew? Luzu told me before we left. <laughs> she hit me too. All crusaders in the vanguard are to assemble on the beach. That's my cue. Luzu, don't die out there. So you can hit me more? Lots, lots more. <gasps> Suluzu, please. Please don't go. I have to, Yuna. Let him go. The man has already chosen his path. As you did when you became a summoner. It would be a long time before I ever really understood the reason why Yuna let Luzu pass that day.